When Afton arrived at the last station, the big red engine hissed mournfully as he moved around the yard to shunt his own coaches away. The coaches tittered grumpily as he did so. At last, the journey is over, one said. I felt like my windows were going to fall out, said another. At least you two were further away from him than I was. I had to endure his groaning all the way here, said the lead coach. It would have been better if you'd not decided to hold me up, you rotten old intake. What? You blame me for that? That was your fault. Pull the other one, you horrid thing. It's not my fault you don't know how to pull coaches, you rotten red sausage. Afton quickly lost his temper. His boiler pressure shot up, and amid the hiss of his safety valve, there was a bang, and then a splintering crunch. Afton hadn't been paying attention when he'd entered the carriage sidings, and had run his coaches into the buffers hard. The buffers were bent and broken, but they were not the most damaged. That honor belonged to the coach behind Afton's tender. It was squashed between him and the second coach, crushed into a pile of splintered wood and bent metal. The other coaches shrieked in horror at the fate of their sister. Afton just sniffed indignantly. This is what you get for being weak old antiques if you only been proper coaches this wouldn't have happened the directors were not happy with afton's carelessness one of them a man named topham hat spoke the most severely if you were our engine i'd send you away afton just sniffed he didn't care at all he watched as the broken coach was loaded into some trucks to be taken away. The other coaches were silent during the whole process. After a while, Afton just smirked and backed away to the sheds to rest.